everyone, I'm so excited to see you today because I'm going to be taking you through part two of the Ariana Grande inspired chunky crochet cardigan. I cannot wait to show you. It's the back of the cardigan that we're going to be doing today. So I'm so, so, so excited. This is the finished article. It's just a rectangle. It's going to be the same stitch. So you're going to be doing half double crochet in the front loop only. And then you're just going to do your kind of side. So you're going to need another one of your woolies thick and quick lion brand and you're going to be using your 10 millimeter and your 6.5 millimeter hook if you didn't catch the first episode in this series tap this link here and i will see you in that video but if not stay with me and keep watching so let's get into it so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be making 23 rows all across and two of the rows on each side are going to be about 24 25 stitches and the whole length of it is going to be 40 stitches so i hope that makes sense this is the hood hello here it is seriously though how cool is this hood we have our lion brown woolies here and i have the beautiful color blossom and i'm just going to slip knot for you and we're going to start with our smaller hook 6.5 you don't have to do this but it just gives a nice effect at the edge this is the back panel of our cardigan. It's going to be from bottom to top, it's going to be about 40 stitches, which is going to be around 30 inches. This cardigan will fit a medium size, so you can always adjust the measurements as you see fit. I'll add these measurements down below and then you can work out if you need to adjust it at all. So first of all, I'm going to make 25 stitches because this is for the underneath the arm. So I'm going to chain seven with this one. One, two three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm gonna take this one out. I'm gonna do up to 25 stitches. So I'm gonna go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we've done 25 stitches. That's going to be the seam that goes under the arm. And now we are going to yarn over and in the third chain from the hook, pop our hook in. So we've got three loops on our hook and then we're going to pull through. Okay. Yarn over, pull up a loop and pull through and do this all the way down. If you didn't catch part one of this series, then I'll link it just here for you. And it's already looking super thick. I also got this yarn from Amazon, which I'll link below. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. The last five stitches, I'm going to change my hook. And that will make your nice cinched in effect at the bottom of the cardigan. So there you go. And it's going to be a little bit wavy here because that's going to be kind of um, tighter stitch than the rest, which is fine. So that's row one. We're going to turn our work and we want to add stitches quite quickly now because you're going to chain. So then that counts as like your first stitch in there. So we're going to yarn over and then only in this front loop. You put the hook through and then you pull up so you've got one three. Do that again. There we go. And then when you've done those, you've, done, you've got the chain stitch and then you've got four stitches. Just 
hold that hook again. And then you're going to need to add stitches here. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four. Then we're going to chain all the way up to forty. So twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, thirty nine. 40 and then we're going to do two stitches at the top so that's 42 in total it might look quite big but you've got quite a wide arm and then you've got all the back measurements so trust me we'll be taking our hook and we're gonna be doing kind of the front loop of the chain so in the third chain from the hook instead of going in through here we're gonna yarn over and go through here so it will match up further on down the line okay so that's our first one and then we're going to do exactly the same thing front loop only all the way down hope you can see that once you've done a couple it'll be easier And when this joins on to the thicker part, you'll see how it lines up neatly. There we go. All right, so then we are going all the way to the bottom. That is the total length of your cardigan. So that's three rows. What I'm gonna do for the back of the cardigan is there's gonna be 17 rows here, okay? Just going along here. So all you've got to do is just chain your two at the end and then do 17 more rows. And I will meet you back when you've done those rows and then that'll be the back of your cardigan done. And then we will do this part together, okay? I'll see you then. So I've done the next part and you need to expand this by 17 rows okay so you've got three here already then you're going to do 17 and then you're going to do another three with this little bit here and also i've added another skein of wool okay just here so you're gonna should have another ball of wool that looks a bit like that and then all we're going to do is we're going to do our last three rows so it's going to be like this so it's going to be all the way down up by 25 and then down by 25 and I'll do that with you as well and that's one two chain and then you just half of the crochet all the way along and that should be 40 stitches down
one. It's your 20 second row, okay? Two. Just carry on. Front loop only. Half double crochet. And we're only going up to 25. So we want to make sure. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's about 10 more of those. 16, 17, 20, 21. 24 and then you will chain two and then turn this is your last row Woohoo! is the back of your cardigan and it's fabulous so there we go look remember the first part amazing. this is amazing look at this hood it's cool tap here to get part three i'll see you in that video bye mm -hmm.